People like to tell me that it must be nice having white male privilege. And I gotta say, uh, I don't really know what white male privilege is because as a guy who grew up with red hair, white people never liked me, you know? White people never saw me and they're like, it's one of us, come hang out. Let's block him from the sun that's clearly killing him, never. No white people ever saw me like he's whiter than us. He must be the king of us, let's talk to him. Figure out what we should be doing today scream things at me. I never really had anything I could say back to white people, right? Because there's not a lot of words that hurt white people. It took me a long time to find something. And if you want to hurt white people, you can tell them that the Beatles suck. That is a way to really just, ugh. You go to a party in the suburbs and you're like, I don't think the Beatles are very good. White people will drop their pretzels and just look you in the face like, are you, how dare you? Help, Sergeant Peppers! And they start naming albums and songs. I've just never liked the Beatles. I find them overrated myself. I think it's funny every once in a while there's a big debate, right? People go, let's figure this out once and for all. Who was better, the Beatles or the Stones? One of those bands is still here. That's the better band. If, if, you, if you bought two toasters in the 60s, One of them worked for a while and then stopped, and the other toaster was still out there, toasting the hits night after night. It just went back on a 35-city toasting tour. Is there any, also, can we just wait for the Stones to stop before we compare these bands, you know what I mean? Because the Stones are still alive and old, and they can hear you. It's kind of rude. You ever think about how hard it must be for the Stones to perform? You ever think about how many cortisone shots Mick Jagger's gotta get into his hip to climb that raggedy body up onto a stage? You ever think about how many goats need to be sacrificed to summon the power to get Keith Richards out of a chair, let alone onto a stage with an instrument? Like they won, give them respect for God's sake. Mick Jagger has never been above 80 pounds. <laughs> Keith Richards is clearly a wizard. Give them respect. I think it's funny too that nobody, nobody likes people that use performance enhancing drugs, right? Like Lance Armstrong, bag of garbage. Use performance enhancing drugs. The Beatles wrote all of their music on acid. If you take acid and make millions of dollars on acid, is acid not a performance enhancing drug? And what is harder to do? Take acid and play the guitar with your friends or dope your blood and ride a bike. <laughs> Uphill, downhill, in the sun for hours with one ball. Do we forget <laughs> that Lance had one ball? The Beatles had all eight of their balls. I told somebody once I didn't like the Beatles and they go, well, you gotta respect them. You have to respect the Beatles. Cause when they debuted in 1964, 75 million people watched. I'm going, of course they did. It was 1964. What else was there to watch, you know? There wasn't a lot of options. There was no kitchen nightmares. There's no Scientology documentaries. There's no making a murderer. There was three channels. Two of them were snow. The other one was the Beatles. You watch that or you looked outside and you hope for the future. If anything, if anything else had aired that night, nobody would have saw the Beatles. If the last episode of Breaking Bad had aired the same night, the next day somebody's like, you hear that song, I wanna hold your hand? Somebody's like, are you an idiot? Walter White killed everybody, you miss that? To watch four guys dress the same and they don't even dance? If you dress the same, you dance, that is fact. Spin move, kick, something. A back and to the mic, nothing. <laughs> I, I would, ra I, like, I like Kanye West over the Beatles, all right? And I know that makes me an ignorant person that doesn't know music. And I know there's a lot of people that don't like Kanye West. A lot of people think he's cocky and he's arrogant. And he, 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 he might be, he might be. One time at one of his shows, he did tell a guy in a wheelchair to stand up and then, and, and, uh, <laughs> That is a little harsh, you know, but let, let's get serious, all right? 
at a Kanye West concert, wheelchair or not. Get the fuck up, man. These are, these are $200 tickets, all right? Pop out of the chair. Pop a wheelie. Let him know that you're there. I love that everybody says Kanye's so cocky and so arrogant. People say that as if every other rapper is just the most humble person walking the earth. The rest of them are out there feeding the homeless and being very respectful to women. If you take the beat away from most rap songs, the song just becomes a king yelling at peasants. Just like a guy going to his window like, hear ye, everyone. I have all of the money. You don't. I have sex with all the women around here. Yep, yours too, your mom, your sister. I drive all of the cars. Some of them I don't even drive. I bought that one. I just uh, put some clothes in it sometimes. You all walk to work. Like, oh, he's so humble. That's where Kanye got in trouble, because you could say whatever you want as long as it's to a beat, you know? People would listen to all of Kanye's rants if they were to a beat. If Kanye had told that kid in a wheelchair to stand up to a beat, that would have been one of the biggest songs of all time. People are like, man, you hear that song, Get Up Cripple? I love that song. My name's Heather McIntosh, guys. Have a good night. Thank you so much. <laughs>